Hello, my fellow Americans. I'm, of course, Mr. Mocklover, and thank you for rejoining me here, of course, in Kaiserreich playing as the USA. So last time we had a little bit of a split between us and uh, pretty much the rest of America. The New Englanders show themselves for who they truly are, traitors to the country, just as bad as American Union State or the PSA or the CSAs. But here we are, and we're attempting to do hopefully well and to get all of Pennsylvania under us in this episode, and of course to destroy enemy nations, enemy factions, enemy soldiers all over the place, and hopefully defend against the PSA, Hope you, I mean the AUS, but it doesn't seem like they're doing it very much. So we can push on a different fronts, so we can relocate the capital, but Washington hasn't fallen yet. So let's go ahead and choose a place that has enough soldiers for us. Joy Z might be good. Iowa. Iowa is cut off. I don't know if we'll actually be able to hold Iowa for long enough. Indiana has three divisions, Kansas, Maryland. I'll probably go with Virginia first, just because that's five more divisions, and that'll be good to add on. Could get more war support. We don't really need it. Do we need anything for here? No. So we're going to standardize the M1, which would be great. But let's go ahead and continue trying to do our best in this blasted wall. Good. Move, move, move if you can. Get up to Cleveland. Go to Cleveland. We got Pittsburgh. We've got Pittsburgh. That is awesome, 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 awesome. The main goal is to take out the PSA, like I said the other day. We've got some Russians helping us, we've got some Japanese soldiers helping us. And I did ask you guys yesterday as to what our intelligence agency name should be. And I have a good idea, a good name for it, which I will let you know a little later on in the video when we get down there when we need to really start uh, thinking about that a little bit more. You go ahead and do that, 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 that'll be fine. I'll just do that, that, that'll be good. Horses, we're still trying to get up to Chicago. If we can cut off Chicago, that would be great. Actually, if we can go that way first. Cut off that one militia division. That would be awesome, awesome, awesome. We have surrounded Philadelphia. This is great. Go ahead and do that. You guys hold for now, maybe. Okay, they have expanded already. Come on, guys. Get out of here. Get out of here. Move, move, move. We gotta cut them back. Cut them back. Expand, expand. Uh-oh. Ooh, we lost a destroyer for a convoy. Well, that ain't good. Uh, you know, that's okay. Everyone go ahead and repair for now. We have no fuel, which is not good at all. So, uh, you guys stay there. My goal is to encircle that militia division and destroy it. Oh boy, what's going on? The German candidate becomes a new high commissioner for the legation cities. Following the outbreak of the Second American Civil War, the legation cities heavily reliantly, which was heavily reliant on the American production and influence, fell into a power vacuum. The legation council had to vote on a new high commissioner to lead the mandate into the future, and it seems that they've chosen Ambassador Boldenheimer, the German delegate. This probably signals an anti-Japanese turn in the cities, and possibly a pro zili alignment, which is interesting. Also, someone recommended yesterday, since we don't have enough guns, we might just, instead of using these guns, go back down and use these guns instead, which are a little cheaper to produce, but they're not that much cheaper. I think we'll just keep it on for what we already have already, which I think should be okay. If I wanted to trade for a, just a, a lick of steel, it really weren't really wouldn't work that well. Coming to France, we need to is it really all? Does Canada have no steel, or... I guess Canada has, like, no steel or something. Middle Africa? Hmm... There's really no one close at all, is there? We could try that, maybe make a few more guns that way. There you go, we can make double, almost double the amount of guns, which is awesome. You guys go ahead and up, head up here, that's fine. Good, keep this division working. Now I also cut these guys off here so we can take out St. Louis, which would be a great idea, actually. Hopefully, oh boy, oh boy, they're starting to invade down here, down too. That's not good, that's not good. Come on, guys, we gotta hurry up and destroy these two other divisions, which is awesome. Pennsylvania is a giant flippin' mess. That's okay, it's our mess. Keep them, keep them there, keep them there. The divisions from New York and Newark are coming in, which is a great, great thing. Oh, we're making almost 50 guns a day. Awesome, 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 awesome. You guys help out, help out, help out if you can. Do not let them link up, destroy these divisions. We can maybe link back up with the rest of the country on that side. That'll be awesome. You guys are over there in Pittsburgh. We should, once we have this area done, oh, we're even going to destroy some enemy Mexican divisions, some Chilean divisions, some Baratia Commune divisions. So, upon the start of the American War, Civil War, Panama took the 13 mile Panama Canal Zone from the US, officially to safeguard from radicalism. Unfortunately, there isn't really much we can do about it for the time being, as we have a small little war to fight. Oh boy. We might just push on the syndicalist front. You know what? We're pushing hard. We might as well, right? Go, go, go. Destroy their divisions. Keep them in place. Actually, don't wear yourself out too much. That's important to not wear yourself out. Good. Come over here. Ah, carry permanency. Canada declares support. So today, the Canadian government and 
through them, the exiled British leaders and the entirety of the Entente, declare the support for the United States as a true and only legitimate claimant to the mantle of American leadership. They better, because they stole New England from us. While stopping short of promising direct military intervention, they have offered to bolster our forces with equipment and volunteers, as well as numerous military bases to speed military planning. They have so far asked for nothing in return, stating slowly that victory should be a boon for world order. We'll take all the help we can get, which is a good thing. We now have carrier primacy, which is nice. Uh, carrier escort naval targeting. Oh, we really don't have that many carriers, honestly, left, which really sucks. Really, really sucks. Oh, we have not done nothing for our land option. We're going to focus on artillery, so we're going to superior firepower. That would be good. Yeah, that'd be really good. Now we're only making 21 guns a day. God dang it. That sucks. Uh, you guys, you're over here. Yeah, no, take Philadelphia. That's that's your goal right now. Philly is the place to be. You hop out there. You put the, put these doggies down. Just go, both of you put them doggies down. Go, go that way, go that way, go that way, go that way. Go ahead and continue to kill off Pennsylvania, because that's what we need right now before we get attacked anywhere else. Does anyone have any upgrades? Uh, Edwin. Mm, we could do some of that stuff, but that's okay for now. Oh, god dang, they expanded. They took that little tile too, which really is not good. You actually might still do okay, though, if we can take this area. Eh, we'll see what happens. All right, so we're no longer winning here. That's fine. That's fine. They took back Springfield, or I guess I never took it, maybe. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. God, this looks disgusting. Oh, we're sinking some... Oh, some submarinos. Oh, God, but they have a carrier over there. We lost one over here. They have one carrier and plenty of battleships, but we have a carrier as well. Come on. Oh, we lost three destroyers. That's not good. Four, five, six. Oh, God, what the heck? Yeah, come on in. Come on in. We killed off seven subs, but they're destroying our fleet here, which is not good. Oh boy. Hey, look at this, look at this, look at this, look, 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 look. Take Philadelphia. Standardize the M1, thank the Lord. Ooh, defense contractors sounding even pretty good, but let's go ahead and do, we're starting examining boards. Army's review process has had its share of performers, but by and large, the system has remained stagnant for a decade. McNair insists that improvements must be made. Oh God, oh my gosh, we lost 19 destroyers. Oh, that's American Union, American Union State Fleet. Okay, at this point, everyone, go home. Go home, and we're going to have to double up here. Yeah, definitely have to, to start death stacking some of these things together. We'll do the same thing for the subs as well. We can't afford too many losses, though. So. Everyone double up. Oh, God, the American United State is attacking us. Oh, uh, no, that's not good. All right, so unfortunately, I have to send these guys to the south here. Yeah, and you guys are over there. Y'all got to defend the south a little bit better. Or southern border, really. Four, 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 four. Minnesota. I really want Iowa. I don't think we'd have enough time, though. They're moving. They, uh, they're moving? They might be moving. And even if we put them here, they're still going to get captured and entrenched and... Ugh, so bad. Uh, just do Maryland, then, for now. We will not relocate Washington, or the capital of Washington. Come on. Get these guys done. Conquered. Kill them off. Kill them off. This is quite the mess, I'd say. Quite the mess. If that's the case, come over here. Just to start taking all the territory away from them. Go ahead and put pressure on here, too. Hey, we overran a couple divisions. Nice. Brew, Bolivian Confederation restored. No one cares. Go up that way. Go up there. Go up there. Come on, Omar Bradley. Oh, God. I don't want to lose this south southern portions here. Go move. You have to move. Move, move. Don't worry about attacking. Don't worry... A pretty little thing about attacking. You guys hold. Good. Uh, my source state, no one cares. Did you guys actually do well there? You might be able to, you might not. Uh, looks like you can't really do much there at all. That's fine. Push him in, push him in, push him in, push him in. I might have to rest, rush soldiers down to the American Union state border so we can get rid of those guys. Come on, kill, kill him off. Ooh, Nicaragua declares Monroe Doctrine dead. Nicaragua, in response to a recent crisis, has thrown off shackles of the Monroe Doctrine, declaring it outdated and a foreign manipulation or implication. Sadly, we can't do much against this due to our country's condition, but it's something we keep in mind for sure in the future. Oh, God, we got it. So, the War Department relocates to the, to the main Navy and munitions buildings. 
With the Department of State leaving almost no room for the War Department to grow near the, near the White House, the Secretary of War has authorized the War Department to move to a different location, specifically an ammunition warehouse provided by the Navy. However, the warehouse is still too small to hold the ever-growing War Department, with the new wing having been ordered to be constructed to accommodate newly employed staff, and we estimate we need a larger construction to consolidate the 24,000 workers and offices scattered among 17 separate sites, as well as the potential or possible additional 10,000 or more new workers that are planning to include soon as our nation falls into conflict. Into conflict. Tell the President we need more space. Um, I'd say that... Probably not an American wrote this because we don't ever use periods here. It's usually a comma, but that's just like an American thing or something. So, yeah, cool. Uh, I'm actually going to throw you under here because I need more soldiers on the southern border. So, I'd love to throw them against the CSA, but right now we've got these guys. We need to move, move, move. You guys are down to the border down there. You guys have done a great job so far. Keep it up. We almost have all of Pennsylvania under us, which is amazing. Yes, please, Japan, help us out. Please, 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 please. You guys go that way. You hold them. Come on, improved machine tools, nice. Canadian divisions have arrived to help us out. We're going to extract a little bit more steel because, well, we need it. And I, we did get Pennsylvania, so we got more steel. Awesome. Maryland Loyalists, defend the southern border. We need you on the southern border right now. Absolutely right now. Can you retreat into the ocean? Probably not. That sucks. All right, so nine. Yes, we got Pennsylvania. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Ah, uh, destroy these Cineclus forces in Pennsylvania. That'd be great. Come on, come on. Get good, good. Get in there, get in there. Disperse industry too. Great. Exactly what we need. Uh, we're getting that. Uh, interwar artillery. I think we get that researched immediately if we go down this way. Army Rangers, electronics. Yeah, we do get interwar artillery. As much as I'd love to use it now, we don't really have to have it, so... Even more extraction for now. Come on, kill them. There's only three divisions. Second international. No one cares. Come on. Day three, Hemingway's speech. Ernest Hemingway has given a speech condemning our actions against the CSA and calling for intensified support for the Reds in the war. We must redouble our efforts and crush the Reed, or crush Reed before he receives any additional help. Well, you know what? Down with the traitors, up with the star. MacArthur is daddy of them all. That's, that's what I gotta say. We've done a really good job against these guys. Martial law. With the Civil War raging, the question has come about suspending hobbyist corpus and enforcing martial law in occupied territories. Those within our general staff are even more divided, as it can create more rebels than it defeats uh, preemptively. It might allow us to keep things under control during the Civil War, but such a move is naturally controversial. Should we done? Enforce it or not enforce it? Well, the way we're going with this campaign, we're going to enforce it. Okay, so we got all of these guys coming up there, and you guys are all moving around. Hopefully going to be having a good time. Uh, yeah. So, actually, we put ourselves in a pretty good position. Economic stance towards Puerto Rico. Since their acquisition of the island, American ship companies have held a de facto monopoly on the trade flowing both in and outwards from the Caribbean island. Now that they've chosen to break away from the federal government, the islander government has requested for us to reach into an agreement. Since the federal government largely paid for the trade with our own money, they have requested that we continue to pay for the shipments inwards and outwards of the island in exchange for preferential prices for any products in Puerto Rico that we wish to import. While our gains in this situation barely exceed that ones we have we had while the island was part of the Union, we should consider the proposal carefully. Uh, keep our trade ties for now. That'll be okay. Gang up, gang up, guys. We're gonna cut off Cleveland. That's the goal. And the French Republic has sent soldiers to us. Cool. Good, good. Uh, you know what? With these guys here. I might leave an open hole, but whatever. We want to cut off Cleveland, no matter what happens. Good, they're abandoning Cleveland. Or they're abandoning this area, defensive area here. Good. You immediately go up north. You immediately help push up. Cleveland will be ours. Oh, for the love of God, do not get encircled. For the love of God, please. Oh, you're actually trying to help attack. You know what? That's fine with me. Do it. Screw it and do it. Slowly losing Virginia. That's okay. We won't lose it, I hope. We're still... Uh, I think we're no longer pushing against the Syndicalist, maybe? maybe not. Oh, we are. It expires on July 8th, so that's good. Go, motorized. Go, 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 go. Get them truckers in there. We love truckers. Oh, come on, you bunch of garbage suckers. Oh, boy. Lost the convoy. That's not good. We need, we need that steel, man. Oh, no, we got encircled. No! Push, push, push. Come on. They want it. No! Okay, so good. I'm going to actually do this. All right, we needed a very effective defense against Long, so we're going to do... Oh, not you. Edward Brooks. Here we go. Long should not be able to break through here. At all. Of course, then again, I'm his main opponent right now, so. Oh boy, what's this? 
Ah, no division. That's okay. You know what? Cut them down a little bit more. Oh, we're over... Come on, seriously, we're over our cap? That's not cool. I don't like that. I really don't agree with that for the American Civil War. That makes no sense. For an American Civil War, you should have as many divisions as you can possibly field. Hmm, that is something I seriously disagree with. I do that. It doesn't lower it at all, does it? Uh, resistance? Oh, resistance infantry boom, that makes sense. Cool. Come on, get in there, get in there, get in there. Go, 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 go. Come on. Come on. Seriously, we just want to cut off Cleveland. We've been cut. Oh, come on. They destroyed our divisions. Oh, there's no mercy for these traders. There's absolutely no mercy. Oh, terrible. Ooh, start that, though. That's good. Now, if you want to read about the state of the army, go right ahead. We have to reform if we wish to prevail. Mm, more soft attack and breakthrough. Well, we really don't have that much artillery right now. Uh, trucking all product. I want that. Let's see. Yeah, we're not making any artillery, which really sucks. Uh, that's not good. I don't think there's anything I can do on the left. Mm, army rangers are nice. This stuff is okay. Division organization, that stuff is not bad. Defense contractors for a single military factory? Well, that'd be nice, but we don't even have enough steel to make enough stuff. Uh, efficient production. Let's do that one. So that's only 35 days. They employed masses that stand waiting for a job or the perfect test subjects for creating tailor timekeeping tables for efficient production. Good. Keep it up. Keep it up. Break them. Break them apart. Thank God. Send some threats. Burma immediately attack Cleveland. Destroy it. Destroy the city if you have to. Come on. We got to hold out, guys. Keep holding out. Actually, we're doing pretty well. They're attacking us and we're not doing too badly. Harding has been wounded, not bad. Uh, you guys help the attack, please, here. Austrian Empire declared war on Hungary. Well, good for them. Good for them. Actually, does Ohio have a lot of resources? It has some more steel, which is why we're attacking a crisis on the Danube. Very cool. Cleveland is ours, my friends. Cleveland is ours. And we can rate... Ah, there you go. We can get six divisions in North Dakota. Or, no, one division in North Dakota. Six from Ohio. And spoil loyalists. Oh, I like that. But I think we're going to wait to do that a little later. Give me them Ohio boys. So that means we gotta watch out for any potential attackers here as well. Guys, don't worry about attacking. Just defend, defend, defend. The focus is on Reed. Jack Reed and his traitorous bunch here. Go and redeploy your lines. I know they're somewhat stretched out, but actually, no, they're not actually too stretched out too much. It's actually really good. Redeploy, redeploy. Go, 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 go. Actually, would we make more if we had... Eh, not really, but we can actually make some artillery. So that's kind of nice. Gonna lose a convoy. Yeah, I know. Whatever. Hey, New England's out. You bunch of traitors. Oh, I'm gonna have a... It's it's a good thing that we have MacArthur under here, because he's gonna teach New England a lesson when we're done. Oh, my goodness. You don't just choose and leave. Like, seriously. The, the Confederates tried that, like, 80 years ago. Look at what happened to them. They rebelled again. Yeah, I know. They rebelled again. Go figure. So we enjoy the Reich's Pact. Uh, war propaganda, yeah, that's right. Yeah, to hell with reloc relocating the capital. Don't, don't worry about it. You know, if you can win, that's great, honey, but if not, don't worry about it. Please, please win. Islamic Federation, we don't really care about that at all right now. We don't have time for that. Slowly losing a convoy here and there, because, uh, we have to trade with these guys. We can't. Canada. Where's Canada on this list? They have six. That sucks. Seriously, Canada? Do you at least have fuel or something? Oh, did Russia take over... Oh, we still own Alaska. Nice. We still own Alaska. Um, can Canada can't do anything for us, can they? Hmm. That sucks. You know what? Even though this is less, I'm still going to trade with them. Because this way we don't, we don't need convoy. I really want these divisions. I know we can't really afford them, though. Hmm. That sucks. Come on, push up, push up, push up. Nice job. Next up is here. Probably. Small little encirclement. Not very big. Not a big encirclement whatsoever, but that's okay because... Well, it's, it's pretty easy to do it like this. We can circle two more militia divisions. That'd be great. Spanish Civil War. No one cares right now. Well, we don't care, at least. Good, get in there. Go, 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 go. So we need to circle these two other divisions. Russia announces their ambitions. Come on, France, you cancel your Lendlease. I shouldn't be trading with anybody. Why, why do we have convoys? 
We should have zero convoys here. Um. Oh, it's probably because we're sending supplies around and going around, probably. Yeah, let the PSA and the AUS kill each other. I think that's a good idea. I think that's a great idea. You've been wounded. Well, you better get unwounded soon, boy. Good. Two more divisions encircled. A smaller front. Nice. Puerto Rico signs an agreement to protect Americans. Okay, so a Puerto Rican delegation has arrived to our capital today with a proposal to protect our citizens and the territory from attack from both internal and external threats on the island. With the island moving ever closer to independence, many diplomats have stated their concerns over the safety of American residents on the island, but with this treaty, it's a guarantee that the American population on the island will be safe, and as such, we have no reason to turn them down. Well, at least we've got somewhat of a good agreement with the Puerto Ricans. Please don't attack, you're just making yourself weaker. There's no reason to attack whatsoever. Maybe except here, especially since we were pushed back. But still. Okay, now we'll accept... Oh, yeah, give me that stuff, boy. Oh, we got the Ohio Legion coming up. Um, I'm going to continue to... Uh, our defensive border over here, especially... That's, that's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. I'm going to say half of you guys come to here. And the other half come to MacArthur. Good Ohio soldiers. New Jersey, you're next. We're losing soldiers all over the place. That's okay. Next up, we'll probably be right here. Mm, yeah, we'll go here to here. Okay, so they, they killed themselves so hard on the line, so let's do this. Nice. An Idaho National Guard? Cool. Throwing themselves on the line? Very good. Yeah, I really think America should probably be exempt from the division counter. That doesn't make any sense. So, rebels fighting for the Federals came elsewhere in the United States, have made contact with the government, offering a array of scavenged items. Nice! How much political power we have 102 right now, and we get 750 units of guns. We got 50. That's pretty good. That's the middle choice there. Awesome. And because we now own Pennsylvania, we can probably choose something really good, hopefully. I really, really wanted these artillery, but we can't. Oh, we maybe don't have it as a cord state. We have... We still own Arizona? Um... That's not looking light blue, my friends. It's not looking light blue, but that's okay. Virginia, Maryland, Utah, Colorado, Nebraska. Well, we own, we own Nebraska for now. Soft attack and breakthrough look really good. Soft attack, that's pretty good. Yeah, we're going to choose this for now. So, Good. Breakthrough there. Breakthrough. They still, they really want to kill themselves. Hardship of the Civil War. Civil Wars bring the hardships home. People within a number of loyal cities are starving. We can focus on relieving their suffering, but this will mean diverting the supplies that needed for the front to fight the Civil War. Congress and the military are at odds in this regard. What should we do? I'm going to relieve civilian suffering because I want the civilian support when I become a dictator. And by me, I mean MacArthur. So, uh, over the past weeks, federal government forces have been busy in F Pennsylvania, arresting those we feel would prove a hindrance to our control and helping our local supporters spreading the good word amongst the people. We want to reassure them that, as American citizens, they have no reason to fear our presence. Our efforts have slowly begun to bear fruit, even in the midst of all the chaos. We just got them as a core. Wait, seriously? Seriously? Please tell me we got him support. Oh, yes. I love Pennsylvania. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Pennsylvania. I've never lived there. I've been there. I've been to Gettysburg before, which is awesome. If you've never been to Gettysburg as an American, it's, a, it's an awesome place. Awesome. Just totally cool place to be. God, I'd love to live in uh, Pennsylvania someday. That'd be really cool. Ah, uh, look. And more divisions are dying. We have put ourselves in a very good position. Washington was never under threat. That is fake news. Never, ever under threat. Reed and Long desperately trying to attack our lines, but they know that their future is not going to be here for long. Uh, production, into artillery, let's do that one. Artillery pieces will, which is spelled wrong, P-E-I-C-E-S, will need to be stronger as well as lighter if we are to respond to the battlefield changes as the plan dictates. McNair's expertise in the 20s with the examining board seem to have not gone to waste, and he's proposed an overhaul of American artillery production, which he proje projects will lead to artillery pieces being easier to produce and repair, as well as more accurate on the battlefield. Oh god, we're doing better at least on this. Uh, give me... Wait, we can only get... There we go. A little bit more. You know what? Screw it. Give me not even more because we can't afford it. Oh god. So many more military factories. We have the New Jersey Loyalists. Ready to fight for... Well, the federal government. We're out of manpower. Or political power, I mean. Indiana. Uh, you have more soldiers than West Virginia, which I guess makes sense. You look a little bigger than them over here. Cool. Alright, I spy with my four eyes a potential attack plan here. And I'm waiting for you guys to get through here so you can guys can go through there and then go through there as well. 
And then maybe we can cut off these guys? I don't know. We'll see what happens. Oh, one good push here. Yeah. Order stored in New Jersey. Over the past weeks, the federal government forces have been busy in New Jersey arresting those who we feel would prove a hindrance or control. Blah, blah, blah. We've already read this with Pennsylvania. Are they not a core? Ah, they already were a core. What the heck? Go straight up there. And then once you get there, you are going to go double back that way. We're going to come up over here, too. We're doing really well, so I'm feeling pretty good about this. This is better... This feels like it's going better than when I played as uh, the CSA, because that took a while with the CSA when I played as them. Uh, you guys come up there. Take half, you guys go right there, too. And you guys go right there, half, you guys go right there, too. We're still playing two more divisions, which is great. Maybe we can circle this group as well. That'd be actually pretty good. Good, good, good. Woo! Yeah, I mean, the Midwest, I'm sorry to the Midwest, but you're just like... There's a reason why they call them flyover states, you know, and if they want to spend all their time getting all this territory, it's fine with me. It's fine with me. I mean, it's valuable. I mean, I'd, I'd love to own it. I live in the Midwest, currently, at the time of this recording. But, uh, you know, we have a lot of land, and they, they want that land. They've got to move that way, so it is what it is. Understand, anything that you have can be a potential tool that can aid you or me. That's always good to recognize tools that we have. Uh, you know what? You want to move? Yeah, I don't think so. You come in this way. You help them out. Them out. A double and circle. One over here, and then one over here. That's what we like to see. Push against Cynicus. Oh, that's not good. That's going to definitely hurt us for a little bit. That's okay. But we have Indiana Loyalists. Great. Go and help out the South. Superior firepower. Not bad. We're here to the Delay Doctrine. That'd be great. You guys are here, so help them out. 91. Good. Looks like they don't have that many divisions, which is nice. Paraguay's gone. Come on, boys, get in there. Nice job. Another encirclement. Reed, you have... you really stupid, Reed. <laughs> Let's imagine that was the only insult I could actually use. Ooh, a Georgia division. Nice. Going to the south. You know the south better than probably most of the other divisions. And they're gone. Now, we could cut them off here, but I don't want to stretch my front lines out. I'm going to focus on Detroit first. Detroit will be the city that we capture next. We have to have it. Take away the automotive industry from them. Deploy, get some planning, we'll go. Cool. Actually, we're still out of fuel, which really sucks. But once we get Michigan, what does Michigan own? Loyalist terror during the ongoing civil war, some of our commanders started to use rather doubtful methods to permanently suppress civilian population suspected of helping more our mortal enemies. One impressive president has defended their actions, stating only discretionary violence was used. Any commander capable of true brutality has already become a rebel. Oh, we can only help. So we can get... Oh, look at all that steel we can get. No wonder they call this a steel belt. Indiana, you have zero out of zero oil. Um, I don't think I've ever heard of Indiana oil. That's like saying, like... What? I don't know. Does Utah have oil? Or maybe Vermont? I don't think I've ever heard of that before. Then again, no wonder it says zero out of zero. So, we're going to push one more tile this way. Here we go. Send these four divisions. Yeah, this group here under Omar Bradley is really good. Holy cow. Push that way. That way we can hold. Changing the USAAC roundel. With the outbreak of the American Civil War, the issue has been brought up that our airplanes have to share the same Air Force patch as our enemies. While radio communication has allowed us to so far distinguish between friend and foe, force of friendly fire and unexpected enemy attacks abound, and the Air Force officers have come with a proposal to change our roundel from the star symbol with a blue circle with a red dot in the middle to a different roundel so our anti-air units may better differentiate our planes from the enemies. What should we do? Let the enemy change it around with ours. Yeah, we'll keep it ours. All right, so let you guys get organized, get planned out. That'd be good. Uh, you know what? With all this extended border here, I mean, sure, they have more resistance. Actually, they've got w a ton of manpower. Holy cow. They have a lot of militia, but that doesn't mean the militia divisions are actually any good. I'm sure that, actually, they're going to need more guns to stockpile or put down resistance. Stockpile-wise, oh, they're out of guns. Yes, this is exactly why I use the Midwest as a baiting tool. Let them take it over. They all have, have no guns. Look at look at Long. He's got no guns. And that's great. Uh, another Indiana National Guard. I thought we just had you guys rise up. That's okay. Uh, West Virginia. Thank you. Alright. We're going to push to Detroit next. The American Victory Book Campaign. Enter War Artillery. If you want to read this, go right ahead. Let's hope our soldiers enjoy it. Give more books. Oh, give good books. Yeah, I don't want to give crap books. Production prioritization. As the war industry hums along, McNair has stressed the necessity of using both the anti-air and anti-tank cannons to stop both armored and aerial threats dead in the tracks. However, High Command will require some solid report evidence to divert the funding McNair is requesting. During times of war, do whatever you can to, you know, win it. That's probably the most important thing in any war, just to win. 
Sure, it's a high cost, but you know what? It's better to win and have a lot of debt than to lose and be dead. So, most of the times, probably. I don't know. I'm not a commander or anything like that. I'm just an armchair guy type of dude. You know what? You do that. Take off one more. Go there. Take off one more. And we'll have Detroit. Just completely cut off Detroit from the rest of Michigan. Move, move. I should have used Calvary for this. Long? Well, he's still attacking. Oh, you guys are actually moving up too. Russia. I love you, Russia. The Russians seem to be good people. Very good people. In our hour of need, the Russians came and helped us out. I went National Guard. Cool. Good, good. Keep moving, keep moving. Detroit has been cut off. Woo! Let's do it, boys and girls. Into Detroit. Help them out, help them out. Crush them, crush them, crush the rebellion. The steel belt, hopefully by the end of this episode, will be crushed. Here's another encirclement. Four divisions, three divisions there. Detroit has fallen. The road to Michigan is now completely wide open. That is amazing. That is awesome, 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 awesome. West Virginia, thank you for staying in the Union. MacArthur sends its regards. We have Michigan, kind of. We have five divisions from Michigan. Michiganders, rejoice. Actually, how close is the CSA to falling? They're more than halfway. That's awesome. 71% of the way there. Awesome. Get up there to that little mitten. All right, so with this... We can shrink this up a little bit. There you go. Shrink it up, shrink it up. Uh, we're going to come in here, too. You know what? Go ahead and go that way. Help them out. Break over the river if you can. They're going to need some help. Alright, so then you have... Break over. Help them out, help them out. Get those guys up there, get those guys up there. We might try a general push against Reed eventually as well. Come on, come on. We won. Get that extra infantry division in there. How many guns do we not have? Oh, we're doing pretty well in guns, actually. Well, a, a modest deficit, of course. Come on, get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there. There's three divisions. Beautiful. Push, 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 push. No mercy. No mercy. Native Americans, cold talkers. A number of Native American tribes have decided to support us and offer their services. The stardom was re restored. Notably, this should help with hiding our communication since there are a few people who speak the various languages of the Native Americans. Great. Great. Beautiful. Sheridan. The M3 Sheridan. I love it. Uh, it's only 37 still. Uh, we could do that, but once we have all of the nation united, we should be okay. Uh, Plane-wise, that'd be okay to do. We're still out of fuel, which sucks. we we'll grab that then. It's fine. we got nothing else to do with you for now. Whew. All right, guys. You did a great job. I seriously might just try general push. Or we could cut him off right here. Yeah, I, I said I didn't want to do this, but we're going to do it anyways. Omar Bradley, good luck. Cut these guys off here. In the center. Help them out, help them out. A couple of extra divisions. The Michigan divisions have shown up. Great. They know Michigan best, so we're going to send them that way. Delaware, you are a small state. Beautiful, beautiful. Cut them off. Pro product prioritization. So as American industry hums along... And with McNair's artillery designs, a new debacle has begun amongst the members of High Command. Frontline reports of complete squads being wiped out by enemy dive bombings have been a concern of the stats since the beginning of the American Civil War, but the quick development of armored elements in the enemy forces are overwhelming our army of mostly barely equipped grunts. After asking for extra resources to the War Department, extra investments have been authorized, authorized by the army, but they need to be addressed to a particular type of countermeasures against the enemy tactics, and so the High Command must choose wisely that we shall invest in anti-tank guns. Ooh, that's not bad. Look at that. More artillery and a d attack and defense. Or, ooh, production cost. Anti-air? I want to probably go with anti-tank. I'm not going to really use anti-guns, though. Oh, anti-air actually wouldn't be bad. I almost never use it. Anti-tank is pretty useful, but only if you encounter enemy armor. And you should be using your own armor for d doing that, so I'm going to go with anti-air. You know, we might use anti-air by the end of the campaign. Maybe. We'll see what happens. Shock and all. Look at that. That looks beautiful. So, entrenchment can turn an open field into a stagnant killing ground. In spite of better nature, we must employ the heaviest artillery shells in order to force our enemies to retreat in such a scenario. The Kansas National Guard has shown up. Thank you, Kansas. The country thanks you. Cool. Edward Brooks, Fortress Buster. You know what? Going to do Fortress Buster, that's fine. You know the guys here. Come on, come on, come on. Cut them off, cut them off, cut them off, cut them off. Go, 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 go. Now, let's see. Gary, Indiana, you're next. This is. Probably Gary, Indiana. That is a special town. Holy cow. 
All right, they're cut off. They should die. I don't think they. You know what? In a scenario like this, I would honestly think that here they probably escape from across from Lake Michigan to Milwaukee or Chicago. That only makes sense in my mind. That they would try something like that. You know, they would literally get both. It could be like a miracle, a Dunkirk or something situation for these types of guys. Like, oh, we've been defeated, but we've evacuated from this area. I could totally see something like that. Miracle at Lake Michigan. They're international, no one cares. Uh, cool. We're gonna push up that way. Actually, you're gonna hold, but the motorized is gonna come that way to there. Good. And you're gonna help out. Good. And circle three more divisions. That'd be great. We have a Kentucky National Guard. Thank you. There goes Hawaii doing their stuff. We have no more divisions that we can grab yet. We gotta get that fuel. Good. Go, go, go. We've kicked them completely out of Indiana, even though the southern border, Kentucky's almost completely gone. Uh, cool, we got Indiana. Oh, that's not good. Uh, you guys help out. Actually, you guys help out right there. You know what, I'm gonna keep this going for now. You two, help out. Beat them here so we can defeat these two divisions. You just go there. Excavation 2 is done, finally. Uh, go do 38 stuff, that's fine. 2 for 3 days, that's not bad. Go, 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 go. We want the mitten from Michigan. And even Long is pushing against these guys. Nice. That's going to hurt Long a lot. He's already out of guns. There's a lot of resistance down here, so that's good. That's good to see. Uh, cool, Ecuador is gone. Excavation 1 is here. 38. Uh, get better guns, probably. Nice, 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 nice. Kill them off, kill them off. Kill them all, kill them all. These rebels need to be put down for good. Order stored in Ohio. Great. I love Ohio. Well, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see what happens. Ohio is a very special state. Let's put it like that. Alright, Chicago. That's a long time coming. Double V campaign. As we're fighting various traitors, the leaders of the NAACP have begun to push for what is called the Double V campaign. Victory for America and victory against racism. Not all African Americans wish to fight for the radical factions, and this campaign has been... Begun to fight for America and to help win the Civil War as well as help fight against racism within America. We get manpower and a lot of war support. Wow, that is awesome. Uh, guns, guns, guns. Oh, we need a lot more resources, but that's okay. We're going to probably push here next. Help them out, help them out. They're just simple militia divisions. Come on, guys. Come on. Cool, cool, cool. Come on, push them in, push them in. Uh, we, there's no way we can break over there. So, here's what we're going to have to do. Triple Atania? No one cares. Uh, give me you three. You guys are pretty good. I'm going to put you by yourselves for now. Your Voorhees. Uh, no, just just that little spot there. That's all you need. Good. Okay, MacArthur. This is your time to shine. This will show you... This will show everyone what you can accomplish. You're going to... We're going to nickname him probably... MacArthur Rolling Thunder after this, because he's going to... He's just going to murder everyone in his path. This is, like, the, the march to Chicago. Holy crap. This is going to be awesome. Hey, order stored in New York City, even though we already had it. Cool. Shock and all. I love shock and all. Go there, shock and all. So, defense contractors. So, private enterprise has become an undeniable part of our military industry. It is time we drop contracts and see what we can do, or what they can do, to help us. On the long front. Oh, we can even push on the syndicalist front. This is the end of Reed. Reed is done. Reed is done. I knew this would happen by the end of this campaign. They took back Gary, Indiana. For the love of God, why would you want Gary, Indiana? Okay, maybe in the 1937 it's a pretty good place to live, but I've driven through there before, and holy cow. Anyways, whatever. Whatever. Oh, it's because we have no... Oh, there it is. Cool. You know what? Take the motorized to help him out. Omar Bradley, you've done a great job. Holy crap, I love Omar Bradley. He's done amazing work here. Go, go. Crush them. Crush, crush, crush. Beautiful. Now, let's get the planning bonus. Uh, they've stopped moving, which is awesome. American Union State, what is going on? They've got quite a few guys here. They have infantry going, nope. They're still out. They have all the men they can have, but they don't have enough guns? They are so un-American. Sure, Russia, sure. Weaponized WASPs? Congress is debating a bill to weaponize or militarize women air for service pilots in a similar fashion to the WAX and the WAVES. This would require the government to provide expenses for the WASPs similar to the two other organizations instead of having the female pilots themselves pay the expenses. It would not have them fly in combat situations since that is still the job of the male pilots. Despite this, it's still, quite, still facing quite the pushback from Congress as many regard the WASPs as not as experienced as male pilots and are not suited for the job. The question is, what should Congress vote do? Militarize them? 
Uh, I really don't care about aces that much. I know they're beneficial, but let's not militarize them. We could use a political power, some more stability. I think that'd be good for everyone here, for the most part. Imagine, you, you, you're the first woman flying. You get shot down. What does that do for morale? That, that doesn't seem very good. That doesn't seem very good for morale at all. Cool. And here we go, boys. Here we go. Push against Reed and his treacherous machine. The red machine must be brought to heal. Actually, for you guys, you just go around. You just go. Whee! If you can. Go, 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 go. Chicago will fall. I promise you that. Oh, yeah. I'll take that Magnificent Mile. I don't even know if Magnificent Mile was there in the 1930s. But let's hope so. Come on. Break through. Break through. Break the other side. We want to be in from here. We have to crack them. Crack them. Crack them. Crack them like nuts. Oh, oh, hold on. We got them. We have three more divisions. MacArthur is a great general. The fall of Chicago, the syndicalist stronghold has fallen. We've done it, my friends. We can get even more divisions from Illinois now. Look at that. Come on, come on, come on. And the CSA will fall, hopefully, incredibly soon. Your goals are long range. Get all the way to Bismarck, Alash Orda. Collapse of the American syndicates. There we go, my friends. Woo, come on. Go, 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 go. Come on, Voorhees. We've done it. We've done it. We've beaten the CSA. Those evil reds are gone. Thank you for uh, playing. It's time to take you back into the fold. We're not going to give anything to Long and his, and his ilk. Heck no. Uh, you're level 3. That's not bad. But at this point... Hmm. It'll really stretch out our guys here. Um, here's what we're going to do. Loyalists. These are all loyal, so you're going to come over here. You are actually really good soldiers, uh, so I'm going to put you here. But I'm going to trade out, like, you guys. There you go. Now, this is what we're going to do. All of you are just going to, like, guard the entire border here. Good luck. You're going to really need it. And I'm going to make MacArthur, him, and his forces the special units in which they are going to defend very well against all these other people. Another general, please, please, please. We're going to lose some territory here and there, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, Freddy Krueger. Walter, Walter Krueger, not Freddy Krueger. Yeah. Uh, can I, if I could get Freddy Krueger as a general, we would probably end this war probably pretty quickly. Pretty quickly. Uh, we could fight the PS... You know what? We might fight the PSA first, just because fighting through here is going to be a pain in the butt if we make peace with them. <sighs> maybe, maybe not. Territory up here is pretty loose, and we can defend pretty well. We'll try. We'll try. it. I know infrastructure up here is pretty bad, but... If we can cross the Rockies before we kill off the AUS, that'd be great. But unfortunately, this video has gone on long enough. If you enjoyed today's episode like I have, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you all tomorrow when we will hopefully take out another rebellious faction. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.